It's so cool. It's still not in the Bible. Yours wasn't either. Well, I mean, Who you has made this so like, weird in the face, Bible? I mean, Mine's you have, so like, much a, better. Like, it even has a magical like even place. Wait it's a minute. Real. I want to share something that is in the Bible. Matthew 28, 20. And surely I'm with you always to the very end of the age. Jesus said this to his disciples right before he was going back to heaven. They were facing a big unknown because he was sending them out into the world to tell his story. All right, now check this out. In Deuteronomy 31, 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. The second verse comes from the Old Testament, before Jesus was even born. But when you look at it, it's the same message that he'll speak later on. So really, it's a reminder to us of who God was then, is that he's the same God today as always. Exactly. And there are tons of mirror patterns just like this throughout the Bible too. In this case, Moses wrote it to the Israelites because they were up against another threat, one of many they faced throughout their journey. It's also one of the many times we're told in the Bible not to be afraid, one of 365 times, in fact. That's a reminder for each day of the year. You're right. But the point is, when you look at both verses, they're reminders to us that no matter what we have going on in life, God is always with us. <laughs> That's what mom said earlier. Yeah. And clearly, God is speaking to the both of us. Does this mean we're going to leave for church now? Not just yet. You don't think we're going to be late? I think we got time for one more story, maybe two. You guys got to pick out some stories. Now I want to share with you what our favorites were from when we were your age. Are these stories not in the Bible either? No, but that's okay. God never said we couldn't enjoy stories outside the Bible. He just said to pursue whatever is pure, admirable, and praiseworthy. And these stories are definitely those things.